Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Examination Series. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Teams networking requirements. Microsoft Teams utilizes three types of network traffic directions. Data traffic between the Office 365 online environment and the Teams client. Peer-to-peer real-time communication traffic. Conferencing real-time communication traffic. This impacts the network data flow in two levels. The traffic flow between the Teams client directly in peer-to-peer -peer situations and between the Office 365 environment and the Teams clients for meetings. Therefore, to ensure optimal traffic flow, traffic must be allowed to flow between the internal network segments, such as between sites over the wide area network, as well as between the network sites and Office 365. Not opening the correct ports or actively blocking specific ports will lead to a degraded experience. When analyzing the existing network capabilities, Consider the following areas in your network access. When analyzing existing network capabilities, you need to consider things like connectivity to your Office 365, quality of your network connectivity, available bandwidth, clients connected over wireless, NAT pool size, network health determination, VPN, Wi-Fi, proxy servers, etc. When evaluating the existing network environment, hard limitations such as blocked IP addresses, faulty name resolution through DNS and block ports are fast to support because certain Teams features will simply not work all when IP address or ports are closed. Discovering bandwidth, latency or packet loss issues is more complicated because they may appear only under special circumstances. For example, if a high number of users are using voice communication at the same time. Therefore, when planning the network requirements for Teams deployment, you must calculate the maximum number of concurrent users, including a reasonable buffer. This following table shows the recommended network capabilities in package transmission quality. Network Planner is a tool in Teams Admin Center which is designed to assist the admin to determine and organize network requirements for connecting Microsoft Teams users across the whole organization. You can access the tool by going to Microsoft Teams Admin Center under Planning and select Network Planner. After providing the network details and Teams usage, Network Planner calculates the network requirements for deploying Teams and Cloud Voice across the organizational physical locations. With the, network, with the Network Planner, you can create representations for your organizations using Site and Microsoft rep recommended personas, generate reports and calculate bandwidth requirements for Teams usage. In order to use the Network Planner, you must have one of the following rules. You have to be either Global Administrator, Teams Admin, or Teams Communication Administrator. The Network Testing Companion provides results for exporting and sharing with other network administrators or partners. The Companion also helps discover potential issues related to the organization's network and connectivity to Teams. This tool can also be used during the assessment and planning process of Microsoft Teams deployment. If you are using Teams now, you can also use this tool to troubleshoot voice quality issues or analyze the network connection before users make, make a call. For Teams to function correctly, you must open TCP port 80 and 443 and UDP port 3478 through 3481. The TCP ports are used to connect to web-based content such as SharePoint Online, Exchange Online, and Teams chat services. Plugins and connectors 
also connect over these TCP ports. The four UDP ports are used for media such as audio and video to ensure they flow correctly. The report labels and locations data you provide is a single data structure. To configure the table of subnets and location, you need to go under locations and reporting labels and upload the locations data. Please note, a predictive data file should not contain column headers, example, network, network name, etc. Quality of service or QoS is a mechanism you use to prioritize certain types of network traffic. QoS is a way to allow real-time network traffic like voice or video streams that is sensitive to network delays to cut in line ahead of traffic that is less sensitive, like downloading a new app where an extra second to download is negligible. QoS identifies and marks all packets in real-time streams using Windows group policy objects and a routing feature called port-based access control list. In most cases, the implementation of QoS is considered either during the planning and assessment phase or during the deployment of Microsoft Teams voice communication. Now that we have learned about Teams networking requirement, let's go and learn about how to deploy Teams client to devices in the next lesson. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.